Hi everybody! Tonight we will show you how to make a strawberry on your knitting machine. First you find the black needle, go one in front, one in the back for the first row. Put that in your yarn feeder, close it and then crank for 16 rows. I put 2 times 16 rows because I did 2 strawberry. So time to cast off, you remove it from the yarn feeder, do a 360 with it, stop just before the yarn feeder and now it's time to remove it with your wool needle. You remove it one by one to prevent any drop stitch situation. So I continue like that. And then put that aside for now and continue with the green part of the strawberry. So cast on the machine by starting with the black needle, put that in the yarn feeder and then you crank for seven rows, seven rows. And I said two times because I have two strawberry. Don't forget to put that in your notebook. Time to cast off, cut your yarn, open the yarn feeder crank the machine to make sure it releases all the stitches and then you stop just before the yarn feeder to prevent the machine to release all the stitches <laughs> in one one shot so time to remove it with the yarn fe uh, yarn feeder yarn <laughs> needle and you grab every stitch just the same way that you did for the red part of the strawberry it's stuck there, sorry for that. There. Stretch it, put that aside. So you have your two, two part for the strawberry. I will show you two different ways to make it. One with stuffing in it and one without any stuffing. So first you close your tube each side go around like this to do your knot, put it tight and then you join the middle to the other middle, attach those two tail together and then stretch it, fold it in half like this and we will do some mattress stitch. If you're not good with mattress stitch, don't worry. Stay tuned, I have the other strawberry with no mattress stitch. So I will make sure that I have two column each side and I will grab two stitches on one side and two stitches on the other side. Oops, sorry, I lost my yarn. We'll put it back in my needle and continue, don't worry. So I continue the same column, so I grab two stitch on one side, oh, it's gonna be better like this, and two stitch on the other side. There, pull and it creates an invisible seam. So now we will do a knot here and then Grab one stitches every two stitches. One full stitch every two stitch. I, I mean you take one, skip one. Take one, skip one. And then you attach it here, you pull on it and you will go again around it to grab all the stitches. There, pull on it. And attach it. There. So now it's time to bring those two tails together. So I will take this and go on the other side. Attach those two together. And then it so it start to look like a strawberry time to grab the green 
be careful it's curly but you have to go slow and find your middle pull on it and find your other tail and pull on it too there make sure all the stitches go inside of it and you will go with your one needle grab a stitch around it to secure it like this So I will join the middle on one side to the middle of the other side. Attach those two together. There, look okay. So and now to give it a, a shape of, uh, of it, I will go in the middle. Pull on it and go on the other side, bring it to the middle and I will continue four times like that. So when I have my four times, there, There will be time to add it to my strawberry. I will not cut the green yar uh, yarn because I will attach those two strawberry at the end together to put it in my car on the mirror. There. Pick it. and bring it to the green and time to attach the green to sew it together so I will grab a full stitch on the green and a full stitch on the red we'll go around it like this like this till I reach my starting point Almost finish. There. So I do the knot and I did in the strawberry. Cut the excess. Put that aside and we'll put some seed on it after. So you could play with it to give it a shape. So that's for strawberry number one. So now it's the second one. So we do the same thing. We attach both sides. When both sides is attached. Time to join the two middle together like we did with the other one, remember? So this one will be with stuffing. So I will stretch it and go one stitch, skip one, one stitch, skip one, all around it. There. this 
keep going. So, time to put the stuffing in it. Don't put too much. It's only strawberry, it's not a balloon. And you don't want the stuffing to be see through the stitch. So, don't put too much. So, it's time to attach it tight, but two not push the stuffing inside with my crayon. I always do that. <laughs> so I will cut, not cut, but I those two tail. One's gone. Second one on the way. Cut it. Always be careful to not cut your work when you cut. That's your strawberry number two. So time to add the green on it. I the, the yarn. So now it's time to prepare my green. I will do exactly as I do for the first one. There. And do a knot. Oops. Find your tail on the other side of the tube and do the same. Like this, put that inside. Like this. to join the middle to the middle of the other side. Attach those two tails together. Don't cut it because I didn't cut it because I will join it with the other strawberry at the end. But if you want to cut it and do something else with it, it's up to you. <laughs> so I, it's time now to attach those two together. This, no, not like this. I will now with the green do around it like this. To give a shape to the green, go inside, grab the side, bring it in the middle. I divide my circle in four, if you don't see it. So now it's time to add the seed. Your little strawberry is done. So I keep a long tail of yellow. If you don't have any yellow, use white. It will be nice too. Even a little beige could work too. Though. This project is to use the leftover yarn that you have at home from Christmas. Oh, you don't need to go to the the shop to get more yarn for do this. There. So I just turn my strawberry as I go, and I don't choose any particular particular place. I just go randomly like this and grab one bar in the middle of the straw the straw the the stitch and i continue 
there. I don't have a lot of yarn left. Hope I'm adding enough to continue. Like this. Almost finished. Join the starting point. Like this. And then continue with the other tail of yarn. To add some seed on it. Oops. Usually I attach my my yarn, but you will see it on the next strawberry. It's because I didn't have enough to finish, but it looked like this. So this strawberry, you see there's a different shape on the bottom. I will show you that after, at the end of the video, because I forgot to put record when I did it. So I will redo it on the first strawberry that you see. So that way you will be able to copy it. But remember, every strawberry are different. So don't try to make like a perfect uh, twin with your strawberry. They're all different. So I continue to making the seed. And I will show you how to really close with the yellow not like I did for the first one so I start with a long tail of yellow yarn and I go around it I turn the strawberry like I did for the first one whoops too tight if you go too tight you will not see the seed so I go like this come again I grab a bar in the stitches like this continue there almost finish and you will join the starting point yarn I have one stitch here I just was pending there so I'll just turn my yarn not yarn but my uh, needle around it and hide it in the strawberry we can't see it now there join the starting point and do a knot so the strawberry is done after that. But if you'd like to do the shape like this one, stay tuned. In a couple of seconds, I will show you how to do it. I add it at the end. Fold it with your needle. Ta-da! The second strawberry is done. So you could see I will attach them together. So you see the second strawberry right now. It's the one on the top and the other one. Yeah, we cut the excess and do another loop on it to attach on my car mirror. Or if you want to attach it somewhere else, it's up to you too. Or you want to put that individually on basket, could be cute too. There. So ta -da, it's done. So now I will show you how I did the pointy shape of my second one, like this. 
so we go grab stitches every two stitch one skip one one skip one around it and usually you don't do that when the seed is there because it won't look as pretty as the other one but it, at least you could see how it did it so just do a knot tight it the way you want it when you have it the way you want it you do the second knot there it's time to hide it in the strawberry hope you enjoyed this little video I wish you a great week stay safe play with yarn <laughs> and I say see you next week for a new free video ciao ciao take care and never give up there is always a way